Hello, my name is Chris Eiler. I am the CEO of EnergyLink, and today I'm going to be talking with you about uh, purpose-driven solar projects. And behind me, you can see uh, water running. This is a function of a uh, purpose-driven solar project we've installed. And obviously, this is a, a solar well pump that is feeding this pond. Uh, the owner is using this water, this, this pond for irrigation, and he had trouble keeping it filled. Um, last year during the drought, so we installed this. He's using it to irrigate his property. Um, now let's go up and take a look at the array itself and discuss uh, what defines a, a purpose-driven solar project. All right, we're up here next to the array, and uh, what I want to talk with you about is purpose-driven solar. So um, it, it's exactly like the definition says. You've got a purpose to drive the solar. Uh, in this case, he wasn't near uh, a grid or couldn't afford to get the grid in this area, and uh, the, the water was going to be an issue as well. It was a perfect project. Um, typically, purpose-driven are for rural, farming, uh, hunting, and sometimes oil, oil applications, um, or anywhere where you've got an uh, got a, got a, a isolated location where it could be cheaper to put in solar uh, instead of getting grid to the space. Now, uh, you know, the alternate to this is uh, an interactive project, grid interactive. So where you're grid tied, you're really playing the game of, you know, how much am I playing, uh, how much am I producing energy for? What's my kilowatt hour production? Is that better than my opportunity cost to buy it? Um, and that's, that's kind of your game on, on those projects. That's like a residential or commercial application. Um, here, he's got a purpose. He needs it. The value exceeds what he can get his uh, grid here for. So it worked out great. If you've got more questions about purpose-driven solar projects or you've got one in mind for your application, give us a call or check us out at www.goenergylink.com. Thanks a lot.